learned how to code all wrong, so I'm starting over and I'm taking you guys with me. But first, how did we even get here? What do I mean I learned how to code all wrong? If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I am a self-taught web developer and I learned how to code using resources like Free Code Camp, Team Treehouse, and other resources like Harvest CS50 and things like that. Then I got my job at the creative agency and that made me further realize just how many gaps were in my code learning journey. I also started getting through 100 devs again and that's when I further realized just how much I missed my first go at learning how to code. So when you're self-taught, you are left to build your own roadmap. There's no set guideline on how you're supposed to learn these things. And that leaves a lot of room for second guessing, overthinking and setbacks. And I experienced a little bit of all of those things. I've been realizing that there are a lot of things missing when it comes to how detailed these topics get in these resources. And that's where a lot of my gaps happen because there are things missing just down to how you actually write the HTML, like not just going over the elements that are included in HTML, but how you actually choose those elements. So semantics and how that plays a role for accessibility and writing easier CSS and making it all work together more seamlessly instead of writing HTML thinking of it from a styling standpoint. I also feel like I didn't create enough projects and failed enough when it came to my coding journey. And what I mean by that is that when it comes to coding, you can kind of think of failures as a success or a way to gain success as a developer, because the only way you're really gonna learn how to code better and become a better developer and make better decisions is by breaking things and learning how to create better solutions to fix them. I would oftentimes get really intimidated by the code and just overwhelmed by the amount of knowledge that was being piled on from all the resources that once it came time to build projects, I didn't really know where to start. And you can't do that. Don't let it intimidate you. Sometimes you just have to get in there and jump in and just do the project. Okay, so I tried to run away from coding because I let imposter syndrome win. I thought I wanted to get into web design, which further made me realize that I wanted to be a developer and I wanted to code. I tend to run away from things that get a little bit too hard and it pushes me away from those things and I kind of just like push them to the wayside and try other things and that's exactly what happened here. And I've mentioned that before that I run away from things when they get hard, but Again, looking into web design and doing those things and actually getting in there and figuring out how all works just further made me realize that my passion is actually on the development side. I also lost a sense of my whys, which is something I tell you is always important to have because of things like this, because if you don't have a clear vision of what your why is, you tend to give up easier because you don't have anything to fall back on and think about why am I even doing this in the first place? So either I didn't have a clear vision of what they were or I just completely lost a sense of them. But now that I've had a chance to regroup and just really sit with it and journal and think about what it is that I wanna do, I think I'm good. Okay, so starting over, I know that I've held a couple of web dev positions, so saying that I'm starting over might sound a little bit crazy or maybe even a little bit confusing for some of you, so let me explain what this looks like for me. You have to keep in mind that in both of my positions as a web developer, I was in a very junior role, and so I'm still a baby in this industry, guys. Like, I'm still just getting started in the tech industry. Now for the past few months, I have been getting through a 100% free bootcamp. It's a full stack bootcamp by Leon Noel. It is called 100 Devs. I've talked about it in previous videos. I have a whole video dedicated to it. I've just been getting through it, restarted that, and already I can see the gaps that I missed the first time I learned how to code when it comes to HTML and CSS, even just the very basics and fundamentals of the languages. There have been so many things already that I have relearned or just realized that I didn't even learn at all the first time. And so a big difference, the biggest difference that I can see is that 
I am learning how to learn. And I know that might sound crazy, like how do you learn how to learn? There's literally a way to learn how to learn. And if you know anything about the school systems, especially here in the US, it's kind of like you don't get that guidance, at least in my experience, of how to learn the material. You just kind of get handed the material and say, okay, go learn this, go read this, go study up. But there's no actual like course or guidance on how to study. So I never really properly knew how to study. And that's one thing that I'm really learning with this course right now, which I appreciate, how to retain the information and recall the information so that it sticks. That way when I go to build projects, I know better ways to apply the concepts that I've learned. Now, like I said before, I have nothing against the learning courses like Free Code Camp or any of those, you know, Team Treehouse or anything like that. I'm actually using those still, but I'm using them as supplements instead of the main course. So while I'm taking this boot camp by Leon Noel, and this is just my preference, this might be too much for some people, but for me, it's been working. I go back and sometimes I'll do free code camp and I've noticed that where I am in the boot camp kind of aligns where where free code camp has me. I've kind of like paced it out, not you know unintentionally, and it's been working because once I learn something over here in the boot camp in the lecture, I can go over here in free code camp and actually apply the knowledge because free code camp is all based on doing and actually getting your fingers to the keyboard and coding things out. So I found that very helpful is to find your main course, but also maybe have a couple of things that you can have to supplement it. If it's not too much, if you can only focus on that one thing, please just do that. But for me, what has been working this time is finding those supplements to further practice the things that I'm learning in the main course. I've also noticed that with supplementing, you get extra opportunities to learn and apply those concepts. So it's just all really been working out with the way that I've kind of constructed my courses and my code learning journey this time. So since restarting this journey and really figuring out the things that I missed the first time and just trying to plug in all those different holes that were you know, not filled the first time, I feel really inspired to share this stuff with you guys. So I wanna document it as much as possible. The things that I feel like I missed the first time, you know, talking about those things and breaking them down and kind of pointing out the things that I feel like you should maybe spend more time on based off of my experience. Again, all of this is based off of my experience. I also want to just share my progress this time, build more projects, show more things to you guys, and just kind of go through the process so that you guys can see the real struggle and know that you're not alone. And then I also just want to continue documenting my life as I have been through vlog style videos, but implementing a little bit more code into it so that you can see like, just how much this can change your life, just having this amazing skill set behind you and the different things that you can do. So this time I also don't feel rushed and I feel like I can better capture the process because I'm a little bit more calm and I can also get through the journey a little bit more organically because the first time I was pretty rushed. I was trying to get a job as soon as possible because I had a baby coming. I had another daughter that was already here. I just needed to sustain life. Right now I am in a pretty sustainable job so I don't feel as rushed to get through the material that I'm getting through and gain the knowledge that I really want to gain so I feel like I can better approach the situation um, hopefully with less frustration <laughs> but I want to just show you guys and continue to inspire you guys to know that anything you set out to do you can do as long as you are capable like and you put in the work you can really change your life with a skill set that no one can take away from you and it's an amazing feeling and I just want to show you guys and hopefully keep uplifting you guys to know that you are amazing and you got this and just show you better than I can tell you through sharing whatever it is that I decide to share here in the space of the internet that we call the minimal jest. Over the last couple of years, I felt lost and all over the place, but what I'm realizing is that sometimes you have to explore and try different things to know what you truly like, and it's okay to change your mind. I also know that if you want to commit to something, commit to it, and don't let anything or anyone stop you, including yourself, especially yourself. You don't owe anyone any explanation or reasoning for the things you want to try, and not everyone's path is linear. But I find this is the beauty in growing because it builds character and adds to your personal, amazingly beautiful story. I'm finding my way and I'm doing the best that I can to help inspire others to do the same, however that may be. I'm not going into this journey this time with any set career goals in mind, although I do have some thoughts on what I want to do. This time, I'm just focusing on taking my time through the learning and trying as best as I can to meet others where they are because they might be in the same place in their journeys. I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video and I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one.